All right, well, I'm still working with the Nathan Stubblefield electrical battery, and I sure appreciate all the comments and words of advice uh, from the YouTube uh, people. I sure appreciate that. That really helped me a lot, and I learned a lot from uh, what you guys uh, and gals put into the input. I sure appreciate it. But today I hooked the Stubblefield coil I have up to a Slayer 007 Sec Exciter. This is G. Bluer's design. Uh, here at YouTube, go to G. Bluer, and you can find out how to build one of these uh, sec exciters that uh, he has designed. It's very similar to a Dr. Stifler sec exciter. And I'm running the energy through one wire into the stubble field coil, and all the other wires aren't connected to uh, anything uh, in the way of a return path to the exciter. It's just open-ended here. And this is acting very, very similar to Dr. Stifler's S-Gate that um, he designed and we built uh, during the uh, project uh, a few months ago. Let me turn this on. I'll show you everything light up here all at one time. There it goes. And like I say, this reminds me a lot of Dr. Stifler's S-Gate using this double fuel coil. And uh, it excites the whole environment around this. This all is excited, including the water over here. Let me show you the water glass trick. Pretty impressive. And uh, this, uh, this little LED panel, you can see how this lights up quite bright here. And I can light it right up off the water here, too. And of course, it lights up off the stubble field coil real bright, too. Anyway, I just want to share that with people that you can take a uh, sec exciter and hook it right up to a stubble field coil. Works.